Well, hello everyone, welcome to our preview of the Browns Raiders game Sunday at First Energy Stadium. Again, they are playing another 0-6 team, so hard to believe. Uh, but as they found out the hard way last week in Jacksonville, it's not always easy sledding against a team that has not won a game yet. Well, obviously the Raiders come in here as a desperate football team. Uh, the one advantage the Browns will have this week is they're playing at home. Well, we know we know the struggles of this team on the road. Uh, maybe they get a little bit more confidence playing in front of the home crowd. Obviously, they're going to need some more offense. They definitely will need that. And uh, when you look at the Raider, Raiders, the first uh, guy to look at is rookie quarterback Derek Carr. Not only are the Browns playing another 0-6 team, they're facing another rookie quarterback. But this one has a little bit more experience, and from what everybody on this team is saying, a little bit more polish. Yeah, I think so. I think it will be interesting to see if, if they can get any pressure on them. It seems like one of the things that he does very well with his offensive line is gets, gets rid of the ball quickly. Mm -hmm. They don't throw a lot of deep balls, uh, but he does not take very many sacks, and that's that's unusual for rookie. He doesn't hold the ball very long. So uh, we'll see what kind of challenges he presents to them. That's right. You know what? They have only given up five sacks this entire season, only four on Derek Carr. That's actually pretty incredible. It does uh, speak to how quickly he is getting the ball out. He also does not throw interceptions. He's only thrown five interceptions against his eight touchdowns. So guys like Tayshawn Gibson, Joe Hayden, those guys, they might not be able to get their picks this week. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see. And, and it's yet yet another one, one of these rookies that is getting to play, except for the one that's, that's here who's still just working on packages. Uh, but yeah, I'll be interested to see how Carr does. And you know what, Tom, you wrote a lot about the run defense this week. We know how bad it is. And uh, the Raiders come in here with the worst rushing attack in the NFL. So something's got to give. Well, don't forget, Mary Kay, though, the Jaguars had that title before last week when they ran for 185 yards. Clearly, it's something the Browns have to stop. Uh, you know, and they expect, they expect the Raiders to run at them. And why wouldn't you, uh, given how their inability to stop them. Absolutely. Now, when you look at the defensive side for the Raiders, uh, the first person that you think about is Khalil Mack. Uh, their rookie linebacker, uh, just so highly touted. The Browns took a look at him. Uh, doesn't have a sack yet, but playing pretty well. Yeah, I, definitely. I think he's a good player. Obviously, he was a guy I kind of touted for the Browns, but uh, good player, explosive player, very strong against the line. Everyone knew he could he could rush the passer, but I know Mike Pettin was talking this week about how physical he can be at the point of attack, and that's good to see for him. Now, the other thing the Browns are preparing for is the Wildcat. Uh, the Raiders have put it on tape a little bit, and their coach, Tony Sperano, uh, has a history with it. They are gearing up for it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of you, you show us your Johnny package, we'll show you a Wildcat. It's something that, that these guys are going to have to prepare for. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's something kind of a gimmicky type of thing, but it's something, like you said, Pirano has used uh, in, in past teams. You know, they've lost to some good football teams, so once again, I think the Browns have to be very wary of a team coming in with an 0-6 record. The next two opponents that they play after this were both in the Super Bowl last year, so the Browns are really going to have to be careful. Yeah, without question. And this is, this is a big game for the Browns. I mean, they cannot afford, you know, this is, was supposed to be the soft part of their schedule. And, you know, from when you talk about Brian Hoyer and the rest of the team and the coaching staff, they need this win to kind of keep their momentum going and just say, hey, last week was a hiccup. Absolutely. That whole offense needs to rebound. Brian Hoyer had his worst game. The offensive line struggled. We might have a new center in Nick McDonald this week. We're not sure yet. It's either going to be John Greco, Nick McDonald. That's still a little bit of a mystery, uh, so we'll see about that. But these guys have got to get it cranked up on offense. They shut down the run last week. That messed everything up. Uh, so everybody's got to crank it up a little bit more if they want to win this game Sunday at First Energy Stadium and we will have it all right here for you on Cleveland.com.